also lesson one to discuss how to use formula in MS Excel. To understand it, first of all, I am going to open MS Excel from the installed program. Here there is a folder Microsoft Office in which there is an option Microsoft Office Office Excel 2003. Now the Excel application has been opened. Uh, for the sake of visibility, to, to get the better visibility, I am going to zoom it in 200%. Uh, uh, to, before understanding the formula, first of all, we have to understand how many operators are available in MS Excel. First of all, there is an arithmetical operator that is available in MS Excel. There is a meaning of each and every arithmetical operator. The arithmetical operators are plus, minus, asterisk, by, percent and power. Plus means addition. It is also known as addition operator. Minus means subtraction operator. Subtraction operator. Asterisk means multiplication operator. By means division operator. Percent means percentage operator. And this is known as power operator. or sometimes it is also known as exponential operator exponential operator ok now I am making some changes I am going to change small p into capital P now on double clicking of this the whole thing has been adjusted according to the width of the matter. Now, first of all, we have to understand the concept of direct operand or value and indirect operand or value. The direct operand is the kind of operand where the value is given directly such as 12, 13, 35.7, etc. On the other hand, in the case of indirect operand or like indirect value, the cell address is given. I am explaining it by giving the example. Suppose I want to add 10 plus 2, then the rule is in MS Excel, each and every formula must be prefixed by an equal sign. Now I am adding 100 and 105. Since it is prefixed by an equal sign, it becomes a formula and Excel will add 100 and 105. That will give, give the result 205. Similarly, if we write 120 minus 90, it will give result 30 equal 90 into 5 it will give, give result 450 equal 13 by 4 it will give you result the, uh, the division result if we write we will write 56 percent 
it will give a result of 56 by 100 that is 0 0.56. Similarly, if we will write equal 2 to the power 8, it will give a result 256. But always it is not possible that you have to write the direct value or direct operand in the case of formula. Sometimes uh, there are values written already written in the cell. In those cases, you can use the concept of indirect operand as well. Suppose I have to add the value of C2 with the value of C5. Now I am writing equal C2 plus C5. It will give the result. Here the value of C2 is taken and the value of C5 is taken and they are added. Similarly, if we write C3 minus C6, the result is obtained. If we will write equal C3 by C5, it will give the corresponding result. If we will write C4 by C7, sorry, here I have to give I have to give the example of multiplication. That's why I'm going to change it. Now, percentage operator. If we'll write equal C4 percent, it will give the result accordingly. If we are trying to write C3 equal C3 to the power C1, C2, sorry, C1, in, in C1 there is a text value, C2. It will, it, it will give the result, uh, the power, that in, in this format, it is the scientific notation, 645, 6 point four five four four e plus 302 is the scientific notation of any number. Okay? It means 6.4544 into 10 to the power 10 to the power 302. Okay? So, so uh, in, in this section, I am going to explain about arithmetical operator. What is the meaning of each and every arithmetical operator? What is the type of operand? Means I am I am explaining direct operand and indirect operand. What is the scientific notation of any number? How, what is, what is its meaning? Now there is a logical operator. In C2, now I am discussing the logical operator. Again I am changing the zooming capacity from 100 to 200. There are some logical operators as well. There are some logical operators as well. The logical operator is the kind of operator which result is either true or false. It means its result is any Boolean value. In the logical operator, there is the operator greater than, less than, equal to, not equal to, greater than equal to, less than equal to. I am just writing its meaning in another column. It means greater than, it means less than, it means equal to, it means not equal to, it means greater than 
और इक्वल टू इट मींस लेस देन और इक्वल और इक्वल ओके नाउ आई एम यूजिंग ऑल दिस लॉजिकल ऑपरेटर्स विद द डायरेक्ट ऑपरेट दैट इज डिस्कस इन द प्रीवियस पार्ट सपोज आई वांट टू नो बिकॉज ऑफ राइटिंग फॉर्मूला इट वॉज टू प्रोसेस बाई इन इक्वल साइन सपोज आई वॉन्ट टू नो वेदर टेन इज लार्जर देन एट और नॉट वट इज द रिजल्ट ट्रू इट मीन्स टेन इज लार्जर देन एट नाउ आई वॉन्ट टू नो वेदर टेन इज लेस देन सेवन और नॉट इट्स रिजल्ट इज फॉल्स इट मीन्स टेन इज नॉट लेस देन सेवन नाउ आई वॉन्ट टू नो सेवेंटी एट इज इक्वल टू एटी नाइन और नॉट With the result is false. It means 78 is not equal to 89. Now I want to know 78 is not equal to 90 or not. I am asking the question in the negative manner, and the result is true. It means it is not equal. Similarly, if if I am I am I am examining that whether 67 is greater than or equal to 89 or not now 70 67 is not greater than 89 and also it is not equal to 89 in both cases it fails so it gives false if we want to know whether 89 is less than or equal to 90 or not 89 is less than 90 so it it, it will be give in the case of indirect operand we can change it we can check it suppose i want to check there is no any numeric value so first of all i, I am putting some numeric value here i am putting some numeric value here okay now i want to check whether the value of f1 is greater than value of f3 or not the result is false similarly i want to check whether the value of f4 is less than the value of f2 or not it is again false similarly i want to know whether the value of f3 is equal to the value of f6 is equal or not it is false in f6 there is nothing so any empty cell any empty cell means zero it is the main point now i was asking from excel that the value of f1 is not greater than the value of f2 ya f3 or not It, it will give true because both are equal. Similarly, I am asking from Excel whether the value of F5, that is empty cell, means its value is zero, is greater than or equal to the value of F1 or not. It is false because zero is not more than or equal to 12. That is the value of F1. Similarly, if you want to know the value of F2. is less than or equal to the value of f4 or not it will give true because the value of f2 is less than the value of f4 so the log in the case of the logical operator again we use direct operands and indirect operands this is the end of the first class first lesson if you want if if you like it please subscribe it and keep visiting i am giving much much and much much more lessons again and again uh, in which i will uh, start from 
basics and end to the expert. Thank you. Something, Something went, went wrong. wrong. Try again, Try again and, a and a little.